Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to everyone. In the second tutorial of GIS introduction, and this uh, tutorial is about geographic and uh, projected coordinate system, and this is very important uh, tutorial. Geographic uh, waste projected uh, coordinate system. A uh, geographic coordinate system location measured from curved surface of the earth is geographic coordinate system involved curvature of the earth. So when curvature involves so this will measure angular distance and angular measure uh, angular distance and measure in degree minute seconds. So location measured from curved surface of the earth geographic coordinate system measurement units latitude and uh, longitudes that is degree minutes seconds and project coordinate system uh, location measure from flat surface of the earth so the unit will also uh, meters feet and inches because an angular uh, distance will measure in degree minutes seconds and the flat distance will measure in feet uh, meter inches distortion will occur except for very fine scale maps so in above figure the this is globe and the here is involved the latitude and longitude because of angular distances and in second figure below there is flat surface and flat surface measured in meters feet and inches okay geographic coordinate system the uh, here you can see the three figures uh, of globe first figure is a uh, parallel lines uh, these are parallel lines which are east to west and these parallel lines are called parallel or lines of latitude this whole line is called equator and this equator is called zero degree latitude because uh, from this line we count the latitude above and below this line is called equator and these lines are called latitudes in second figure you can see the uh, lines uh, which are joining north south pole and this line is called uh, uh, lines of uh, longitude or meridian the bold lines you can see north uh, to south that is a prime meridian and a prime meridian uh, uh, pass uh, um, from Greenwich in England and from this line we made the time uh, measurement uh, and uh, that's uh, top GMT plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 to right and GM minus 2 and GM minus 3 at left side so this is prime meridian these lines are called uh, meridian lines the the uh, lines uh, uh, at right of the prime meridian line is called uh, uh, east meridians and uh, at the left of this prime meridian is called uh, uh, west meridians and third uh, figure you can see that these are the combination of parallel lines and uh, uh, meridian lines and this is called uh, a great cooler network because here the parallel lines are latitude and the longitude lines which are connected to north south pole that is a uh, longitude lines okay so parallel uh, uh, latitude lines east to west and that is from 0 to 90 degree because 0 at uh, equator and 98 north or south uh, pole and meridian lines uh, the prime meridian is 0 degree meridian and at right this is 180 degree east meridian and at uh, left uh, this is a uh, 180 degree west meridian okay here you can see the globe and uh, you will easily understand it uh, because uh, here you can see the angles uh, vertical angles from the equator this is latitude and uh, horizontal angles from the prime meridian this uh, is a uh, longitude this is not uh, perfect vertical and not perfect horizontal because this is a uh, angular distance but so you can uh, see in this globe that the vertical dimension line is for latitude and horizontal dimension line for longitude so the uh, bold lines uh, which is uh, connected east west uh, and this is equator line and the bold line which is uh, connecting north south pole that is called prime meridian so from equator uh, we can measure above and below the latitudes distance and from prime meridian to right or left we can measure 
a longitude distance and from the equator above area is called northern hemisphere and below the equator this is a southern uh, hemisphere and uh, uh, right to the prime meridian this is a eastern hemisphere and uh, uh, left to the prime meridian this is the western hemisphere okay so uh, here you can see that this is a 50 50 degree longitude and 50 degree latitude because from prime meridian this is 50 degree and from the equator this is a 50 degree okay latitude uh, and latitude and longitude so in this figure you can see the longitude line at right uh, uh, at right side at right figure uh, so this is the lines of la longitude because these lines are connected to north south pole and in left side you can see the latitude line because these lines are connected uh, to east west so these are the latitudes uh, commonly used datums so datums uh, uh, are used uh, different datum used uh, for the coordinate system NAD 27 NAD 83 and WGS 84 NAD North American datum 1927 and 1983 and here is the latest status WGS 84 1984 it is used worldwide because uh, in different devices mobiles and GPS based uh, on this system WGS 84 system world geodetic system okay so this is the uh, datum which is a uh, used worldwide and this is a uh, very important what is a projection if you could project light from a source through the earth surface onto a two dimensional surface you could you could then trace the shape of the surface features onto the two dimensional surface this two dimensional surface would be the basis for your maps you can see that the light come on globe and uh, and uh, uh, here you see the light transfer on earth surface as a two-dimensional so this is called projection date from 3d to 2d conversion Cartesian coordinate this for the planar coordinate system are based on Cartesian coordinates why so uh, first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth one the first quadrant x y positive second x positive y negative and in third the x and y is negative and and fourth quadrant x is negative and y is a positive this is simple Cartesian coordinate system Universal Transverse Mercator, this is the uh, projection system uh, that is called shortly UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator. Uh, Universal Transverse Mercator divided the whole globe into 60 zones and each zone is uh, of 60 degree wide and this zone is defined by central meridian because uh, from central meridian we can measure to the right and uh, to the left. Okay so preserve direction at small shapes uh, extent is from 84 degree north and to 80 degree south and from the equator you can uh, see that uh, uh, the from the equator to above that 84 degree north and from the equator to below that is 80 degree south you can see in the next slide uh, in detail UTM coordinates are easily recognized by six digit for the X and seven digit for the Y most of the time at latitude of 15 degree and greater in the northern hemisphere okay uh, six digit at seven digit uh, when you using GIS and you transfer the map in UTM coordinate system so you can see at bottom that uh, that uh, show the coordinates uh, for X uh, that will be six digits and for Y coordinate that will be seven digit you can see in the GIS window. This is the UTM, UTM zone number and this is universal transverse marketer system. Here you can see that the total meridians lines are uh, zone wise divided and that is from 1 to 60. And uh, these are 360 degree which is divided into 60 zones. Okay. And uh, each zone is a uh, about a 60 degree because 6 multiplied by 60 is equal to 360 degree okay so below you can see the 
zero uh, lines and this zero is uh, the prime meridian and uh, right to this line is a uh, uh, eastern meridian and uh, uh, at left side of the zero that is a western meridian and it is uh, about 180 180 degrees and uh, now you can uh, see uh, at left side uh, of this figure 0 degree and this 0 degree is a uh, equator and above this is 84 degree north and below this 80 degree south okay and uh, here you can measure uh, different countries here this is Pakistan okay this is a uh, uh, Pakistan so this Pakistan region is a uh, uh, in the UTM zone uh, 41 43 41 to 43 okay so if you uh, go to above and you can see that the Pakistan map is a uh, uh, in 41 42 and 43 3 zone so you can easily measure this a uh, uh, coordinate system in also to also marketer a comprehensive system for identifying locations and making measurement over most of the earth surface on a global map UTM lines are straight UTM is a type of projection calculated to make plate map of the round earth UTM zones are numbered east to west and later now to south each zone is equivalent to 6 degree and the measurement unit is meter because in a UTM coordinate system the uh, curvature of the earth is transferred to the plate surface when plate surface so we will uh, measure the flare distance uh, in meters and feet and inches okay the conclusion of this uh, uh, tutorial is that uh, the geographic coordinate system uh, location measure from curved surface of the earth projected coordinate system location measured from plate surface of the earth because there is the difference is a uh, significant because in geographic coordinate system curvature involved and uh, data uh, measured curve surface and projected coordinate system here is uh, the curved surface transferred to plates and that is a measured of flat surface there are very significant difference between datum coordinate system and projection so the correct datum coordinate system and projection is especially crucial and very important when matching one special data set with another special data set if you have two data set and having different coordinate system then you cannot uh, uh, analysis data, uh, data because having a different coordinate system so you can transfer and you can project it the uh, different coordinate system into same coordinate system for analysis and for uh, further processing uh, after this uh, you can see the uh, in the G in GIS the that how you transfer GIS coordinates or geographic coordinate system to the UTM coordinate system